how many hundred thousand birds have we counted? I think we're we're in the rough numbers between two hundred to three hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, I'd say around three hundred. So you might have to somehow prepare your mind for that. Hey everybody, welcome to Brazil. We are in the heart of the state of Amazonas. The Amazon is the largest tropical rainforest in the world. We're nearby Manaus, and we are learning a little bit about a bird called the purple martin. So this is a, the largest swallow in North America. In Portuguese, it's Andorinha Azul, which means blue swallow. And scientific name is, I don't remember. Progni Subis. <laughs> Progni Subis. I don't know a lot about purple martins, and that's why I'm traveling with a bunch of experts who are here and a bunch of biologists. Actually, the place that we're staying has river dolphins, pink river dolphins, on our front porch, basically. Coming through my legs. <laughs> that makes me, that makes me a little bit nervous. The island that we're going to, the name of it is Ilha de Kumuru. So we're about to see about 300,000 purple martins that are gathered here. They just finished spending North American winter all over the rainforest feeding and enjoying the, the numerous insects that a rainforest has. And they kind of get together here as a last uh, refueling spot before they make the migration north to, to North America where they nest uh, east of the Rocky Mountains from the Gulf all the way up to, uh, to parts of Canada. After they leave here, they'll be at their breeding grounds in about three weeks. They go, go, go. Some of these birds, uh, their migration is uh, up to 10,000 kilometers. Um, it's, it's a huge, huge physical feat. So when the birds finally dive in and you, it creates a wind and the sound of just these birds flying by you at high speed in unison, uh, it gives you goosebumps. This particular roost we just found last year, but we've been hunting uh, for these particular birds. We knew there was a big roost around here because there used to be one uh, in on the edge of Manaus and it disappeared and we've been hunting for it ever since. But last year it finally paid off, we found them. In the last 50 years, due to a combination of reasons and reasons that we're trying to determine, um, we've lost over a third of the total number of purple martins in that time. They're in a kind of a steady, steep uh, population decline. Each one of these birds, of the hundreds of thousands that you'll see here, each one of those hatched in somebody's backyard. Somebody cared enough to put a birdhouse up so this species of bird has uh, habitat to uh, procreate and, and extend the life of the species. Yeah, and many of those people who care for those birds, they don't get to be here. Oh yeah, see no. What we're seeing, no, they haven't seen it yet. We haven't crazy. really published any videos of it yet.
We're doing about 20 at a time. And then we have to do all of our processing quickly so we can get them back to their roost. And we're putting on bands and we're taking measurements and we're looking at condition. And then we're applying the tracking tag and then we're putting them back in the bag and bringing them back out here. And some of these birds are going to go as far as Canada to breed and as far south as Florida in the US. And they'll be here for probably another two to four weeks. And they're putting on fat here, which they use for fuel for migration. When they finish molting their flight feathers, they'll be on their way. Radio tags that we have on here, uh, we get instant feedback on where they are as they pass through the, this network of antennas called the MODIS network, all across North America and extending down so, in Central America. And right here, we put some antenna stations right around the roost. We're also doing TWABs for a virology study to see if. Uh, these birds are uh, bringing down viruses and diseases from North America that, that are potentially uh, you know, exposing other species here or vice versa. So we're trying to figure out if they're carrying these diseases. Because they're an important part of our ecosystem. They eat a quarter of a trillion bugs every year. We have color banded bird. I didn't know that. Wow. What color is this bird? It's got two color bands on its left leg. Wow. From when? It's Last year? Baby, blue baby blue over green. You know, when I stuck my hand in the bag and grabbed this bird, and then I felt what felt like a band in my finger, and I thought, that can't be right. Maybe it's got a swollen leg or some kind of leg problem. This is, we did not expect this. This is about as good luck as we could possibly hope for. So guys, in 100 years, there have been a half million Purple Martins banded, and this is the first live capture of a banded Purple Martin in Brazil. We're experiencing a statistical anomaly. You wanna bet on where it's from? Okay. What do you wanna bet? I'm gonna say... 50 push-ups. I'm gonna... <laughs> 50... I'm gonna say Connecticut. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. I've heard back from the bird banding laboratory. Middle of the Amazon, I got a signal. All right, the answer is Connecticut. Uh, oh. <laughs> Connecticut. So when was it banded? July 10th, 2019. Incredible. Incredible. Guys, <laughs> never bet with a bird biologist. <laughs> You gotta count them out. That was one. So now we're going back to release the birds back at the roost to where we pulled them from. So thank you guys for jumping on this adventure and checking out the Purple Martins. Thank you for coming to Brazil. Come on another adventure sometime soon. Ciao.